Hi everyone and welcome to this video. I am going to show you how to create the cycles version of the metal material I created for November in 2019. For the cycles version we are going to use real displacement with nodes inside the material to change the surface of the object. We will use the EV material from the last video as our starting point so if you haven't seen it you can either watch it to follow the creation process or simply copy the nodes I am going to show you. Let's start by first switching to cycles under the render properties and then we can create a new copy of our EV material and rename it to cycles metal. Now we change the viewport to the render preview and in the viewport shading menu we set up a lighting by unticking scene world and choosing a HDRI from the list below. The background value is set to zero. With this done we can start to modify the EV metal material. First we want to set up surface displacement in the material with the according displacement node. We can remove the second bump node and replace it with a displacement node to change the surface according to the cells. Add the displacement node and plug the color output of the Voronoi texture into the height input. The RGB values of the texture are now interpreted as single values. Then connect the displacement output with the displacement input of the material output node. Now you only need to activate the displacement for the material and the vertices of the object get displaced along their normals according to the height values from the texture. Press N to open the sidebar in the shader editor. Switch to the options tab and choose the option displacement and bump under settings and surface. For the displacement to work properly, there need to be enough vertices to displace. Since we set up the sphere with modifiers, we can change the modifier settings to increase the resolution of the sphere. In the modifier panel, I increase the segments count of the bevel modifier to 100, which is the highest possible number for this modifier. With the scale factor of the displacement node, we can now change the intensity of the displacement. For this material, I set this value to 0.2. For the next part, we want to replace the boundary mask with an actual ambient occlusion node. With the displacement of the surface, the occlusion node now can show occluded areas. We didn't use this node for the EV material, because we didn't have any real surface deformation for the node to work with. First of all, we can remove the setup for the boundary mask and add an ambient occlusion node to the material. With the color ramp connected to the AO output and set to constant values, we can more easily define a new mask created by occluded areas. Then just connect the color ramp to the mix RGB node, which defines our mix factor for the colors and the new mask setup is also done. For this material, I will desaturate the blue color to a darker gray value. Increase the detail value of the Musgrave node to 16 to get more details in the bumpy areas and decrease the roughness values of the according color ramp to get a smoother surface. The material is now pretty much done, but for a last change I want to have the surface imperfections also show up in the actual displacement. For that we add another mix RGB node and connect it to the displacement setup. Now we only need to connect the color output of our combined color mask to the second input of the mix RGB node and adjust the mix factor. I set it to 0.03. Since there are still some jagged edges on the displaced parts, I will put a subsurface modifier onto the object to increase the vertex count even more. If you want a higher contrast in your preview and render, you can change the look value in the properties editor under color management. It's set to medium contrast as default, but I will set it to high contrast. Now you can play around with the settings of the material nodes to get different looking results. You can also put this material onto other objects like Susan for example, 
and it will work if you have enough vertices to this place. Tell me what you think in the comments and stay tuned for more videos. Bye!